Hi, my name is Shannon Haddow, and I am a fiction specialist here at the Hoover Library. If you learn anything about me, it's that I am fascinated by the country of India, and I read a lot of Indian American authors, Indian authors, anything I can get a hold of. And um, this was one of my very first authors to fall in love with, and she actually came to Hoover for Southern Voices, this Thritty Umrigar. I first discovered her in her debut novel, The Space Between Us. And I wanted to share this book with you. Thritty does a wonderful job of talking about the status of class in India. She usually sets her books in modern day. Um, this book as her debut was powerful. It is about um, an upper middle class um, Parsi family uh, and the care, the woman, Sarah, um, how she relates to her household help, Benny. They, they both, they have a lot in common. They both married men that they both alternately love and hate. Um, Sarah's husband beats her and Benny's husband is an alcoholic. Uh, so they have that in common. They also have daughters to get, you know, one um, daughter is, is, is doing better than the other. Sarah's daughter is married with a child. Um, Bimmy, uh, they, they, they get along very well together, even though uh, Bimmy is illiterate, but they ended up taking care of each other in older age. It talks about the divide between the cast, but also the things that are common between these women. It's lovingly written, very easy to read, and fast paced. I will also talk about her 2006. Okay, so so Space Between Us was in 2006, and The Weight of Heaven was 2009. The Weight of Heaven, again, uh, is set in India, but this time it's an American couple who has uh, decided to move to India. Uh, he is going to run an Indian factory. They've just lost their seven-year-old son, so they're both grieving. Um, and they do this in very different ways. Uh, the wife throws herself into uh, a free clinic. She's a, a, I think a psychiatrist. So she throws herself in, into the free clinic. And the husband is not adjusting well to the new culture. Um, he takes under his wing the household help's grandson and tutors him. So they, uh, he pours his grief into this young boy, uh, causing a rift between uh, the husband and the young boy's grandfather. So very human stories, and they just happen to be set in India, but you do feel like India is another character in her stories. Later on, she, she ends up writing, um, Thritty uh, ends up writing more books set in the United States. Um, by now she's been here 20, 30 years. So uh, that's natural uh, evolution of her stories. But her first books were set in India and they really give a great um, insight into a Parsi household and um, the different castes in, in India. So she is still one of my favorite authors and I hope that you will enjoy some of her books. And uh, November is the month for Diwali. So celebrate with the Festival of Lights by reading a great book. Uh, they're here at the library, so come and read them.